Hi, welcome to another episode of Randomly Marley and another episode. Let's do that again. Welcome to another episode of Randomly Marley and another episode of Vlogmas 2020. We're almost at the end, guys. It's the 21st of December. Yeah, 21st. So we are almost through. I have two, three, 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 four, three days. Well, what was that? Three days left. And I am really just relieved because I've been tired. <laughs> but I hope you've been enjoying the content. Um, I hope this has been great. Next year we'll resume the weekly content, not daily. I can't do it. I can't keep up. It's a lot. I'm tired. Okay? Great. So today I'm going to share my top three lessons I've learned from 2020. Um, yeah, it's been a very incredible, interesting, strange, long, short year. And I'm sure we've all learned a few things here or there, so I'll just share with you mine. Number one, the importance of being flexible. I feel like 2020, the thing that it has taught me is that you really have to be flexible. I feel like so many of us set plans, goals, targets at the beginning of the year. Then 2020 came and showed us what's up. It was like... <laughs> jokes on you and i feel like the people that were able to quickly adjust themselves and adapt have actually been able to thrive throughout this year and those that have been slower to sort of catch on have struggled a little bit more like i know people who've started businesses because of the lockdown like in the middle of the lockdown they were doing so much cooking and whatever and by the time lockdown ended it's like now they have like you know menus and whatever and they give you know they make food for people or you know cook home meals or things like that or cater to part cater at parties or things like that you know people have started baking companies i have an aunt who started like two businesses during the lockdown uh like just as a result of things that happen it's like okay this is what we have right now this is where we are let's deal with things as they are and see how to adjust to that accordingly so i feel like much as planning is important and something that we should all do i think it's important for us to be able to quickly adjust and be flexible with life and with time like if you know you had planned to do something with oranges and then life gives you lemons instead you know squeeze the lemons and make something out of it don't now be bothered and bummed out that oh my god i wanted orange like just work with what you have that's i think been my number one lesson My second lesson or, you know, highlight or thing that has really stood out for me in this 2020 is that it's really, really, really important to have people in your circle, like have people around you who you genuinely care for and who genuinely care for you because on the bad days, that's what really matters the most. It doesn't matter how many businesses you have, how much money you have, how many things you have going for you. There are times where you just need people around you and there are things that only people and, you know, tangible love and relationship and friendship can fix and so it's important to have your people it could be one person who you know is really your person and you're so close and you're so whatever and like yeah this is my person it could be like a close group of friends two people three people five i don't know but it's important that you have at least one or two people that you are close to that you consider your close circle people that you can comfortably tell your things the things you're going through who would sort of be able to advise you and they know what to do. They know when you just need to sit in silence and hug each other, hug it out. They know when to tell you something, the good stuff, the bad stuff, even the things that you don't want here, they can tell you, I think that you are in the wrong, maybe you need to do this, or maybe you can fix it like that. But it's so important to have people in your corner. It's something that you can't underestimate, you can't, you know, deny it, fight it, whatever. It's just so, so, so important to have people in your corner. I think actually for me one of the biggest things that 2020 has taught me is that you need to have more than one income stream. It doesn't matter how comfortable you are where you are, it doesn't matter how much money you're earning, it doesn't matter how well you think you're doing and how much of a plan you've made for yourself, one source of income isn't enough. Like when if you have one source of income and you feel like you're earning the absolute most have another one which is also earning the absolute most or which is earning a little less or a lot less or whatever but you cannot have one source of income because the thing is you can plan for it in as far as you can see in as far as your mind can take you but there are certain things that you can't plan there are people this year who've been laid off who are doing well earning big amounts of money they had allowances fuel 
fuel, insurance, you know, health, school fees for children, you know, all of these things. And then on top of that, you're earning a general salary who have now unfortunately been laid off. And so for those who only had one source of income and one place that you were relying on, I can only imagine how much that hits. That must be like such a hard hit because it's like, wow, I had this one thing and it's fallen apart and now I'm stuck. And because you also get used to a certain lifestyle based on the amount of money that you're earning and therefore spending. And so once that's taken away from you, it becomes difficult. So it's important to have more than one income stream. I think still two also, I feel like it's too little, but at the very least, you know, have like two things. So it's like, you know, every month or every week or every whatever, you know that you have money from here and from there because there are certain things that you can't control. So for me, I feel like that was one of the things that was like, whew, wow. I had maybe three income streams at the beginning of this year, four. I had, I was speaking, public speaking, emceeing and all of that, Fab Fash, my online store. I was doing social media account management and I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting, but we can just go with those three. Emceeing, I started get. I got my first emceeing gig this year in September. Imagine the whole of lockdown, the whole of everything, nothing. Um, Fab Fash for this year has really been a difficult year, so it's been a struggle in that area. Uh, social media account management, I actually was able to set up a business, a business with some friends of mine and we've been able to sort of go through the year okay and it's been growing steadily, so for that I'm grateful. Um, but yeah, so if I didn't have that, then it would have been even more difficult to go through this year and everything because it's like man this one thing that i have that's working that's doing well all of a sudden isn't doing well like nobody saw corona coming and yet it came and here we are so it's just a really good idea and a good practice and a good habit to make sure that you have more than one stream of income because as much as you plan for your life and as much as you plan for things you can't see everything you can't know everything that's coming there are certain things that are beyond your control so the wider the pool of income that you have the lower the chances of being hardly hit when circumstances beyond your control come into play does that make sense yes it does i think so those are like my top 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 three lessons i've learned this 2020 i would have actually wanted to do 5 10 15 all of them but i think you know seven eight minutes is good enough fair enough so let's keep it there um yeah maybe i'll do a part two but I think this should do. Thank you very much for watching. This is another, this has been another episode of Randomly Marley, another episode of Vlogmas 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share this with a friend or two or ten. And yeah, that's it. Bye.